Now, dear coders, ladies and gentlemen, there are two good reasons for me not to make the usual long politician speech. The first one is that you um, coders have been working uh, during 30 hours, so everything you need is not to hear a long politician speech. And the second is that, yes, I really have to catch uh, the plane. Um, but I wanted to congratulate you. Uh, because the work you are doing is really uh, fascinating. Uh, first, I would like to, to look at why you are so fascinating, so important, and then what are the challenges and what are the solutions? So let me start uh, with you. Um, instead of seeing a room of tired coders in front of me, I see a room full of architects. Because actually, that is what you do. Coders have literally built the new world we are living in today. Remember 20, no you don't, <laughs> but remember <laughs> 20 years ago, uh, Tim Berners-Lee, who set up the World Wide Web. Um, 10 years ago, an American coder, Mark Zuckerberg, who created Facebook. And today you, hmm, who are continuing uh, in this legacy. Uh, you are also, I do believe, the secret weapon for uh, exciting the economic crisis. Because the digital economy will be key for growth and one million jobs which could be created if we get the digital economy really uh, going. So by 2015 there will be one million IT vacancies. I don't know where we're going to take them, but um, those who are sitting in this room um, will be uh, the ones uh, who need also to help others to develop IT uh, skills, uh, skills which you have today. Uh, and I think you have won the lottery ticket um, just waiting to be cashed in uh, because uh, the, um, un uh, the IT skills are a real untapped goldmine for putting Europe back to work. We already have many examples of IT innovation made in Europe. Think about Skype, Spotify, Angry Birds, and last year's uh, hackathon. I think Madame was uh, having it under her um, uh, hand. Uh, Tim uh, Bodokes, which empowered children uh, to decide themselves how they are going to use their time online. And your mission this year, well, not just to present a product, but to do something much harder, to bring an idea to life, to hack for your rights. And that brings me to my second point, the challenges we face. You know that, uh, well, maybe not in your age category, but um, the little older ones, 92% of Europeans are concerned about their mobile apps collecting data without their consent. And 89% of citizens want to know when their data, for instance, from a smartphone is being shared with a third party. And that is all about confidence. If data is today's currency, then how can we give to the people the confidence that they can spend, spend, spend this data. How can we get the online driving our digital single market forward? How can we get our SMEs to grow and to make like life easier for Europe's online businesses? I do believe, and we have good examples, that the protection of what is done with the data and the development of new ideas can go hand in hand. And I'll give you one example which is very telling. Hamburg. Hamburg in Europe, in Germany, is uh, one of the strongest start-up places in Europe. It's a gaming industry. 150 um, gaming companies with more than 3,000 employees are sitting there, are sitting there, and they have the highest data protection standards in Germany, in Europe, in the world. 
And you see, the two work together. I really do believe this can work together. And if it works together, then it gives back to people the confidence which they need in order to give out their data and this young industry to function well. Good for people, good for profits, good for developing our single market. And you are good for the three. And that is why I think you are good for the future. We have a unique mix of people in this room. Those who represent the giant industries of today, the giant internet industries, the Googles and the Facebooks of this world. Those who will create the giant internet industry of tomorrow, you, and those who can be, in the same time, the guardians of a free internet protecting transparency and accountability. So thank you very much for developing such a win-win situation for the future. I wish each of you, each individual, uh, to be capable in your life to put your dreams into practice because we need a lot of dreams and we need a lot of talent and we need a lot of capability to put that dream into practice and we need also politicians who help them, huh? yeah, who give them They're a helping great. hand that they can go ahead. So um, you are the winners of tomorrow and now we are coming to the winners of today. Exactly. <laughs>